Struggle to stick with a workout routine or exercise program? Yeah. Yeah, many people do. It's a real struggle, isn't it? In fact, more people struggle sticking with a program than those of us that do. Welcome. I'm Tracy Hensel. I'm a certified professional coach and ICF credential holder. I help people just like you achieve goals in whatever area of life you are looking to level up in so that you can live a life that you desire, so that you can be satisfied and fulfilled with your one chance at living. One chance. That's all we get. And we can rewrite that script anytime we want. And for many, that's all it is, is rewriting the script. If you've followed me for the long haul, you are well aware that I started exercising as a teen. I observed and witnessed my mom incorporate exercise even though she was a working mom. So I did have healthy habits kind of ingrained and instilled in me. And I was always fond of fitness models and seeing people, women especially, that took really good care of their health. I've always, as a very young child and teen, been drawn to that area. Maybe that puts me at an advantage. Who really knows? At the end of the day, it's all about putting the work in. So of course, I've made my life revolve around keeping healthy and staying fit. I've had five pregnancies. I have five beautiful daughters. And I took care of myself during those pregnancies. And I always made sure that I worked hard and put the time and effort in to take the weight off, really getting ready for the next pregnancy. But that was very important to me. And living a quality life is something that I place a lot of value on. It's not easy though. It's not easy. I run two businesses. Uh, many of you are, are like me and you have a lot on your plate. You are burning the candle at both ends and you have a lot of responsibilities, especially if you have so many active roles. And I talk a lot about active roles in my coaching as well as here on YouTube. In fact, I will link a video where I talk about coming to terms with the active roles you have in your current season. Now understand your active roles can change. For example, mothering, while I'm still a mother and I still am quite an active mother, that is not an active role that requires a lot of my time. It once did, you can imagine, raising five girls with all these girls in activities and all the school responsibilities and obligations. That active role took a lot of my time. So there's a lot of value in knowing your current season, in what your active roles are, in what those active roles require from you as far as time. Often this is one of the big reasons why people don't stick with a program because exercise and working out gets pushed and pushed and pushed because too many other priorities take precedence over that. But then it leaves people falling short because at the end of the day, they really want it, but they always have a very valid excuse why they don't get the job done. One of the biggest reasons for this is people have a very hard time looking at the season they're in. You have to look at your season today. That is the first step to creating in designing a workout program, an exercise routine that is sustainable, that you can accomplish and achieve in one that is adaptable because as you transition to a new season, your workout routine and exercise routine will need to transition as well. While I have always kept my workouts a very high priority on my day-to-day -day list. Through my different seasons of life in those active roles, 
it's changed. Not only has the time of the day changed, what I do has changed. How much time I get to spend in each workout has changed. I'm at a place now, well, while yes, I do get up at 4 a.m. and start my workout around 4.15 after getting dressed and getting everything that I need to get started, while I do start early, my workouts really are very lengthy. I do a lot because I weight train and res resistance train and that takes time. Cardio is very easy to knock out very quickly. And I've talked many times about the difference between cardio and weight training and where we need to put our time. And if you work one-on-one, -on -one, you know that we base where you put the most amount of time is based on what your goal is. But everything has had to change. I'm in a season now where I can devote more time to my strength training and even 10, 15 years ago, I didn't have that amount of time to devote because my active roles required so much more of me. And while I'm still very busy running two businesses and being a hands-on and active grandma, I have a little more elbow room because some of those active roles have, have diminished a little bit. And now my active roles have went to other places. So you have to understand where you're at in this season. But most people don't do that. They just think about what they want and then when they don't achieve that because it's unrealistic, they feel like a failure and then they give up. And that doesn't get you to where you want to be. I help people just like you design a workout program that you can carry with you your entire life. A workout program that you can start or you can build upon at any age. Whether you're 35 and you're just starting to have a family and you're tied to the home because you have little ones, or maybe you're 45 and you're fully active, running the road, running 24 seven, because you have kids, tweens and teens that are in so many activities that you really have no time for yourself. Let's talk about the 55 to 60 year olds who could be phasing into the empty nesting years as kids are moving on and going off to college and getting married or going out on their own. And then we even have the 65, the 70 and older. There's no season of life that we should ever let ourselves go and stop and put exercise to a halt. It's identifying where I'm at today and what do I need. I help my clients figure that out. It's not my program. It's not what Tracy does. The reason most programs don't work is because most programs are designed for the person who created the program. If I create a program, it's about me. It's what I do. You can do it too. It's easy. If I can do it, you can do it. No, that's why they don't work. That's why the program doesn't work. Actually, let me back up. The program does work, especially for the person who's, who's designed the program, right? It works for them. So they think it will work for you. And the reason you fall short and then you feel like a failure is because you can't stick to it because it's unrealistic to you and it's someone else's program, <laughs> right? You need to have your own program, one for you, one that meets you where you are today in the season you're in, at the stage of life you're in, in the health condition you're in, where you are today where you would like to go, but it's in this season and it has to be adaptable for the next season because there will be one. No matter where you're out at today, you are always transitioning into the next chapter, into the next season. What you need is a program that's yours, that's yours, that you've designed for you because that's the one that's sustainable, not someone else's. Not my program, not your sister's program, not your sister-in-law's program, not your daughter's program, not the lady who works in the cubicles program. It, it has to be your program. If it's not your program, you won't stick with it and it makes complete sense that you wouldn't because it doesn't follow your season of life, the condition that you're in, and maybe what your goals are. That's where I come in. Because I help clients design a program that's theirs, not mine, theirs. And I know the three key components to making that happen and to sticking to the program. I've been training women and some men 
for 15 years in their home or office. And now I do online coaching, life coaching, health and wellness. I know what works. And there's three requirements for you to design your program. And most people never think about these requirements, these must haves, these non-negotiables. They never think about these to create and design their program. Love to help you. Love to help you. Love to help all of you. Saturday, June 3rd, mark your calendars. I'm going to teach you how to design your workout program. You're one and only. That meets you where you are today at any age, any stage, any season, in any condition. You can be 35, you can be 75. It doesn't matter. You can be younger, you can be older, you can be anywhere in between because it's your program. It's not my program. It's not that neighbor's program or that neighbor's program. It's your program. I am going to help you design your sustainable workout program, your life program that will transition to the next season and chapter of your life, your program. So your program is going to stay yours and you're going to take your program with you all through the stages and seasons, the remainder of your one life, of your one life to live. We're going to uncover the three areas required for that to happen. And those of us that stick to a program 365 days per year, year after year after year, we know these three. We know these three requirements and we follow them because that's what keeps us on track and keeps us consistently getting the job done through each and every season. And it's often, almost always, overlooked. How do I know? Because I work with people just like you. I have stacks and stacks and stacks of years of working with women just like you. And I can tell right from the get-go, the ones that stick with a program, maybe they're coaching with me on something else, they've dialed in these three areas, these, these requirements to master their program, their personal program. So I invite you to invest in yourself, in your one life, to quit buying into other people's programs that don't work for you, they work for them. Why not have your own program that you own, that's yours? Right? It makes sense. It makes complete sense. Let me help you create and design that sustainable workout program for you. You can join me Saturday, June 3rd, live meeting where I uncover all of this. The meeting will be at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, so mark your calendar according to your time zone. As all my workshops, if you can't attend the live, the meeting will be recorded in the Recording will be sent to everyone, whether you attend it or not. All the information is on the course page on the Hensel Coaching and Consulting website. There will be a link in the description box below today's video. Click on that link. You can read through the course page and you can save your seat there. I always leave opportunity for questions. After the meeting, understand if you don't attend the live, I won't be able to address those questions, but always someone has that question. Often the questions that I receive are similar, and there, there's only maybe a few after I, after I conduct and facilitate a workshop because I don't miss things. As you know, I'm very detail-oriented. Yeah, it's time to invest in yourself. You have one life. You have one life. How are you going to live it? How are you going to live your life? Do you want quality? Of course you do. Who doesn't want a quality life?
but you have to design that. You have to tap into that mastery, right? All right. Link will be in the description box below. And coming up next, outfit details for today. Paul and I have dance class tonight. It's kind of our little date night, which is also activity and doing something, moving our bodies in a different way. It was one of my goals for 2023 was to do something I've never done, learn something new. And I kind of him and hot on what that would be. And I decided doing ballroom and Latin dancing as a couple would be really great and to cultivate our relationship. So it's been a lot of fun. We started the beginning of the year and it's it's been a lot of fun. So it's just another way to stay active, but cannot wait to help you design your workout program that you can call yours. All right. Thanks for being here and I'll see you Saturday, June 3rd at 11 a.m. Eastern time. Be sure to check out the course page. Take care.